Now, this next story is both interesting and very scary at the same time. It looks like some hackers have infiltrated the ASUS software update uh, so that the ASUS servers are actually delivering or have delivered uh, malicious software to what appears to be hundreds of thousands of computers throughout the world. However, that malicious software only triggers itself on about 600 unique computers, and it figures out which ones it wants to target based on their MAC addresses. So for most people, there's no impact at all. The software just lies dormant. But for 600 or so, uh, it's going to go a bit further than that and install some malware that will uh, undoubtedly uh, leak that computer's information somewhere. And what's really frightening about this hack is that it is coming directly from ASUS. Hopefully they have closed this issue by now, but nonetheless, it looks like this might be a state actor uh, that is looking to target a very specific group of computers that might have been sold to another government or some other agency or something like that. And uh, they're very uh, clear here as to who they're looking for by their MAC addresses. And this is just a fascinating story. You can read more about it on the link that you see on screen here from Motherboard. Uh, but this is one of the big vulnerabilities is that you could be as secure as possible with your computer, but if the manufacturer of your computer is compromised, then their updates can come right down and infect you and open up a lot of back doors that other people can walk right through. And this is terribly frightening. And I hope that ASUS will have some kind of response to this to restore some faith among its customers. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.